Hey everybody, I just got back from Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. But uh, before we talk about that, look at this sick popcorn bucket. Yeah, it's Harley's hammer. This thing is sick. Look at this. That's just awesome right there. All right, so I do love Margot Robbie. I do love Harley Quinn. There she is. She sits on my desk. So I'm a big fan, so, you know, maybe I'm going to be a little bit uh, swayed here by my uh, love for Harley and Miss Margot Robbie. That's okay. So let's talk about Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. This movie's rated R for, like, violence, sort of. There are, There's swearing. There's some sexual humor. Uh, but it could have easily have been PG-13 with a couple modifications. So I'm not sure why they went with the hard R rating. I don't know. It's an hour and 49 minutes. The length is fine. I'd say the ending is a little bit soft, uh, taking care of the villain at the end. Hmm, I don't know. It's written by Christina Hodson, who gave us Bumblebee. Eh, I don't know about Bumblebee. It was all right. I like the beginning when they were in Cybertron. This is directed by Kathy Yan. She doesn't have much of a resume. I don't I don't really have an opinion on her. Uh, but I, I, did, I was a fan of the 2002, uh, was it CW, Birds of Prey show? Um, I thought that was okay. This is nothing like that. This is a whole different cast and, and a cast of characters. That's kind of different from uh, the comic book that I am a big fan of as well. Um, all right, let's go over the cast here. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. She's great. She's Harley Quinn. I mean, I don't think anyone can play Harley Quinn but her. And uh, this is a sequel from Suicide Squad. So she uh, she broke up with the Joker and or the Joker broke up with her. And uh, there's gonna be some ramifications. Ewan McGregor plays Black Mask, uh, Roman Sionis, and um, yeah, he's like a mobster. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Black Mask, Mask we'll talk about it. Uh, Journey Smollett Bell plays Black Canary. I'll get into everybody's performances here. Um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead plays the Huntress. Ella Basco plays Cassandra Kane, and uh, Chris Messina plays Zaz. That uh, killer that likes to, every time he kills someone, he likes to put a slash and a scar on his body. And Rosie Perez plays Renee Montoya, uh, this uh, cop who's a female officer in a guy's world and, you know, struggling to get recognized, but she's smart and knows what's going on. So this is basically like a Guy Ritchie film, okay? Uh, characters going after characters, even crazy characters that I just didn't identify here, all kinds of crazy characters. Uh, going after each other and uh, half the characters are after this jewel and Harley's just trying to like survive and as part of her trying to survive she's got to go get this jewel that was lost by Black Mask Mask I keep saying Mast Mask and uh, that Cassandra Kane has in her possession a very young Cassandra Kane in this movie like she's like I don't know 10 years old not an adult Cassandra Kane. And uh, yeah, so, you know, everyone here, all these little characters, they all got their own little story, their own little motive. They're not together. They're not the birds of prey. Uh, they're off on their own things. But maybe by the end of this movie, they're all going to be in the same room uh, having to deal with the same adversary, Black Mask. All right. So, yeah, Margaret Robbie's great. Ewan McGregor plays a very um, exaggerated mobster. I liked it. Um, I think sometimes he was having very fun with the role and the characters written fun and villainy or villainous. Uh, there were other times where he's really like into torture and stuff. So the tone was a little bit strange for me. It was a little off. Uh, it made me uncomfortable with some of the scenes. I guess they're trying to show he's a bad guy, but I don't know. It's a little bit all over the place uh, where I'm used to maybe Black Mask in the uh, Arkham video game. So, I don't know. It was good, though. It was a good performance. He really went for it. Uh, Journey, Smollett Bell as Black Canary. Again, very different from the character I know in the comics. Uh, not just uh, the look, but sort of just the character in general. Um, you know, this Black Canary is more grounded, more having to live on the street, more having to do whatever it takes to survive. Uh, she sings at, in Black Mask's uh, club. He owns a club, and that's all the characters kind of like visit this club, even Margot Robbie. Uh, Harley Quinn, but uh, she's a singer, but then she gets uh, recruited as a, a driver for Black Mask because she showed off some of her fighting skill. Not her uh, superpower skill, um, but uh, fighting skill. All right, Mary Elizabeth Winstead plays the Huntress. We all know the Huntress's background. 
a uh, little girl, her family gets killed in a mob hit. It's kind of like the Punisher. And then so she comes back trained from Italy and has to kill everybody that killed her family. That's what's going on here. So that's her journey in this movie. Ella Basco plays Cassandra Kane, a very young Cassandra Kane. And uh, she's just a thief and she steals the jewel and she is the MacGuffin in this movie. And Zaz, Zaz is okay. He's just a thug. Uh, there's a lot of weird chemistry between Zaz and the Black Mask. Um Almost too much chemistry. I don't know if they're going for that. That's fine. Uh, but it was a different kind of Zaz. So, and Rosie Perez, yeah, plays that uh, female officer struggling in a man's world. She did a fine job. Everybody here did a fine job. They don't exactly portray the characters I'm used to in the comics, but I'm an old guy, so times change. Nothing aggravated me. Nothing annoyed me. It was all good. Uh, they all went for it. Um I, I'd say, you know, the Huntress, there was something about her, even though she doesn't look like the Huntress, my, the action figure that I have or the comics that I like. There was something about her. She was almost like a real... These these people all seemed more like real people and less like superheroes. Except Harley, uh, Margot looks like Harley Quinn. She's the exception. But everybody else was... And I guess Hugh McGregor, you know, he has the black mask. But everybody else seemed like a real world non-superhero version of their superhero character if that makes any sense so i don't know uh it's smaller in scale it's a heist movie it's not a big movie uh, they do have a fight in a uh, a prison fight which is cool and a fight at the end of like this in this um well two fights they have a fight in an amusement park and then fight a little fight in the uh, on a pier so some of the uh, the settings at the end get bigger it's well shot it's well edited. Again, very much like a Guy Ritchie film, like a wannabe Guy Ritchie film. You got the editing. You got the speeding up of, of the uh, footage. You got uh, time jumps. You get animation uh, on the screen. You get overlays with um, characters' names. So very Guy Ritchie-ish. Um, acting good. Humor. Not crazy funny. I chuckled a few times. I was entertained, but it's not something where you're constantly laughing. Uh, action. So action. We have uh, the action. There's a good uh, scene at a police station. It reminded me. It's like uh, Harley Quinn's version of the Terminator. I, I think it's an homage to that. Honestly, she cause she comes in with like the same uh, grenade launcher that Schwarzenegger had in one of the movies. Um, I expected her to almost say I'll be back. It was that close, but it was fun. Uh, there's a little Harley take on the situation. I really liked. And uh, there's a big fight at the end where the birds of prey all team up. And it's just a big punch fight. And and there's no CG. I don't recall any real CG in any of this action. It seems like stunt people and the actors doing the action. Is it John Wick? No, it's not John Wick. Uh, is it overly believable? Yeah, it's okay because they do pick up weapons and use weapons like baseball bats. And sometimes when they hit legs, the legs do break and you see it. Um but I think by the end, everyone's fighting in kind of like this room. It reminded me of like the Adam West Batman series. Uh, just because, you know, it's good old-fashioned wham and pow. And, uh, you know, it kind of reminded me of that. It was fine. I started to tune it out, though. I, it wasn't something that I was impressed with, like a John Wick movie. It was okay. Uh, I do like Harley Quinn's uh, Hyena. I have to give him an honorable mention. I think his name his name was Bruce. I really liked the hyena. I couldn't tell if it was like a real hyena or a CG hyena because I wouldn't get that close to a real hyena, but, you know, uh, she has a lady and the tramp moment where they share instead of the spaghetti, like a Twizzler, I believe. I like the hyena a lot. She's a very fun character. This is a little fun journey in the city with Harley Quinn. Uh, and Harley narr narrates, so it's a lot like Deadpool, how uh, Harley is narrating over the story. Um, so yeah, she's a real, she's an asshole. She, she, uh, Joker broke up and she's being an ass, but they don't want to mess with her in the beginning because they think she's still protected by the Joker. So as soon as word is on the street that the Joker dumped her, uh, that protection is lifted. So everyone she's pissed off is now coming after her. And that's sort of where we start things off. And, and she's really good. She's really good. Uh, music. Music is really, really good. Uh, even better than Suicide Squad with the music. I really did like the musical choices. Action, humor, acting. Yeah. What do I think about the movie overall? Um, so do I like Suicide Squad better? I think I do. 
Suicide Squad I kind of liked. I just didn't like the zombie uh, bubble people they were fighting. I thought that got eh, uninteresting. And the villain overall, uh, the end fight wasn't that interesting. Um, the end fight here, you know, they're going to fight gang people. But the very end fight here mm, was kind of quick and unsatisfying. Uh, Suicide Squad. I don't know. I kind of think I want to wa uh, watch Suicide Squad again. Would I buy this? Would I watch it again, rush to do that? Mm, probably not. If this was on sale, a Blu-ray that's on sale, I'd probably pick it up at that point. But um, it's not something I really need to see again. It was fun. I was entertained. But it's a little forgettable, unfortunately. And I do love Harley, so it's hard to forget her because she's always on my desk. So if you like Margot Robbie as much as I do, then you definitely have to see this movie. Um, if you're not a fan of anything she did in Suicide Squad, this movie's probably not for you. Um, but yeah, it was a fun time. If you like that character, I'd say go out and see Birds of Prey. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. I think we covered everything. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Uh, we'll have new videos soon. If you're new here, please subscribe because anything in pop culture I'm checking it out. We would love to have you in this community. Uh, a like would be greatly appreciated because YouTube's getting tougher on channels like mine. So a like would be great. A uh, comment, leave a comment. Are you checking out Birds of Prey? If you do, let me know what you think. Yeah, if you think you're going to like it or not like it, leave a comment. Let me know what's good and what's bad about Birds of Prey. Let's talk about it. All right, everybody have a great night. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. And as always, I will see you on the new.